Hey guys, so I've been wanting to cover um, Nicolau synthesis of Sporolide B for a while now, but it's I've been trying to think about how I wanted to um, structure the video. And so I decided that since it's a rather lengthy synthesis with uh, even starting from these precursors and then a lengthy synthesis of the precursors, that I'd split the video into three parts. So we do a video of the synthesis of Sporolide B from these two precursors, and then we do a video of the synthesis of the two videos of the synthesis of the precursors themselves. So precursor one gets its own, and precursor two gets its own as well. So in this video, we're covering the synthesis of precursor one, which is an 18-step synthesis starting from this ketone here. And so we'll just jump right in. So the first step is a sodium borohydride reduction with Lewis acid catalyst, cerium 3 chloride, to give a stereoselective reduction to this alcohol here which then can be deprotonated in the presence of benzyl bromide to give the benzyl protected alcohol here. Palladium catalysis uh, and then carboxymethylation installs this ester group here which is then reduced with dibal and then uh, protected to, with DHP to give the THP protected group here and then TBAF removes the TBS group here with uh, and then DMP with desmartin oxidation oxidizes to the ketone molecular iodine and then pyridine installs iodine here at this position so then uh, sodium borohydride reduction again the same reduction from before and then TBSCL to protect gives this alcohol here and stereoselectively next again another palladium catalyst catalyzed reaction with uh, this TMS protected acetylene uh, installs the acetylene group here and then um, Removal of the THP group with diethyl aluminum chloride and desmartin oxidation again installs the uh, aldehyde functionality here. So after this, they use uh, this 1,2-dichloroethylene uh, molecule in the presence of methyl lithium to generate this uh, acetyl, this organolithium reagent in situ, which can then react with the aldehyde functionality to give the alcohol and the, install the uh, acetyl chloride group here. So this, you can imagine um, why they got this stereo uh, center instead of this one, which they then changed to in the next step. But uh, it's because whenever you're there, it's just attacking, it can attack from this direction, or it can attack from this direction. So if it attacks from this direction, it's pretty hindered here. So it instead attacks from this direction, and it gives this uh, stereo center selectively. So to fix this and to get the desired st stereoselectivity, they then reduced this back to a ketone with, uh, again, desmartin oxidation, and then selective redu reduction with uh, dibal to give the desired stereoselectivity, or desired stereo center. Next, potassium carbonate methanol, pretty common to remove TMS group here. So then, and then acetic anhydride gives the uh, acetyl protected alcohol here, and that is the synthesis of precursor one. So I decided not to cover any in-depth mechanisms for uh, the precursors because most of the, the chemistry here is, is pretty standard stuff that you would have learned um, in introductory organic chemistry classes. So mostly the important steps are the use of organometallic um, chemistry, of course, and um, palladium catalyzed reactions, then stereoselective reductions with either dibal or sodium borohydride in the presence of cerium chloride. And um, to just and this um, important thing to highlight with this synthesis also is uh, the clever use of functional group interchange. So they leave this benzyl group on the entire synthetic pathway from the, the um, very second step after they install it. And then they interchange protecting groups between this oxygen atom and this oxygen atom throughout the synthesis to give the desired um, transformations. So this is important protecting group chemistry. is something that's uh, kind of glossed over in um, undergraduate organic chemistry courses, but it's something that's harped on in uh, upper level courses. So a good synthesis of precursor one. And so we'll cover um, the synthesis of precursor two in the next video. So this is a 15-step synthesis, a little shorter than this one. And then we'll cover the synthesis of Sporolide B and talk about some of the trouble they had in the synthesis of this molecule in the third video. So thanks for watching. Stick around if you want to see the other two synthesis.